Welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, we will write the Verilog code for an buffer circuit and also test bench for the verification. We will observe the waveform. So before going into this tutorial, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below. Any model sim design, we have to create the work library. So click on file, click on new, click on library and we have to define the library name as work now in my case i had already defined previously the work library so i would not create a new library now once the work library has been defined now we have to come up with the new project so in this example it is the buffer project so right click on the window and select add to project and click on new file now we will define this as verilog add file as add file type as verilog and the file name has to be buff or buffer so whatever your convenient you can name that particular as a file name so you can see buff dot b which is the very lock type now double click on that and we would write the very lock code for buffer now in this particular coding the very lock module has a declaration and the body in declaration name the input and output is listed now the name of module is buff and in this case the input is defined as a and the output is defined as b now we must define the signal assignment and we have we have done the signal assignment and we have defined the relationship between the input and output and the end module of this particular Verilog coding has been defined. Now the buffer Verilog coding has been completed. Now we have to add a test bench. So again click on add file as Verilog type and define this buff underscore db which will be our test bench now double click on this particular file and we have to write the test bench for this particular Verilog now again the test bench starts with the module definition and we have to define the register and the wire so the reg and the wire are the design under test dut where the input to dut is reg and output is declared as wire now i already have a buffer test bench so i copy that particular test bench and paste this on the buff underscore db test bench which we had written earlier so this particular test bench will be used in order to realize the functionality of the buffer now save this particular Verilog coding in order to compile right click on the Verilog code and select compile selected now you can see that buff.v compilation has been successful similarly we have to compile the test bench and you can see that both the Verilog coding has been successfully compiled now when we pull when we click on the drop down of work library 
you can see the test bench and the buffer code appearing on the work library. Now right click on the buff underscore test bench and click on simulate. Now click on sim default and click on add wave. Now go back to the waveform generator, click on the run button and you can see the output and the waveform which has been generated based on the test bench which we had written. We can compare the test bench result with the waveform result which has been generated by the model sim. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.